Here's another example of correlation. You can see the bottom there, we have our CPU, so we've got that information. We've got that from our component. Level. We've got our response time information from our service information, the service applications that can give us that information. And we've got some transaction throughput information from the business. So we can actually get some of those business metrics and start to correlate. What's our CPU against our response time? What's the numbers of the transactions against response times? And if you think about the SLAs that you have in place with your customers, that the more transactions that come through, the potential increase in response time there is from your underlying components, is that going to impact on the response time that you've got set within your SLA with your customers? You know, what's the impact of that likely to be? Is there going to be some kind of penalty? If you, if, the, if you get slow performance, for example. And that information can be fed into any number of those ITSM processes, which you can see at the top of the, of the slide there. So the cornerstone of capacity management, if you like, is the seamless. And that's why the slide is talking about integrating with your other ITSM processes by implementing the seamless and effectively having capacity management at the hub of your ITSM processes to be able to feed that information, to provide that governance in terms of reporting. Fitting the pieces together. Okay, so a little jigsaw puzzle. Stage one, get some performance data. We've got to get some data. What do we do with that? Well, okay, that's our component level, so we understand what's happening there. Business information, our strategy, our forecast, the, <coughs> what, what growth rate are we expecting over the next year. Produce some nice reports at stage three. Review those reports and mitigate. And then baseline where we are, baseline the environment and start forecasting. What models can we produce that, make, that provides that benefit to the business? And then you can report those forecasts and compare and start the whole process, keep the process going. Okay, so those stages can start, you know, put together and, and provide that, the mitigate the risk, the benefit, the governance that we want. Mature capacity process. So we'll start at the focus. And I said there's always a reactive and a proactive focus in capacity management because things change. And you have to react to things because things are very dynamic. But it's that proactiveness of capacity management that we really really key to, to, to hammer home, if you like. How can we prevent outages or slowdowns by actually putting stuff in place, looking at what's gone in the past, forecasting into the future, putting into the business information and making those decisions. Component level, you see there in the integration. Can we provide root cause analysis information back to problem and incident? What about chains advisory boards? Capacity managers or capacity members should go into change advisory boards to see the implications of those changes and what the impact on, cap on capacity is likely to be. Information about your CIs, your configuration management and how you link that together to provide effective governance through reporting. Because you talk about all the dynamic changes. If things get added and taken away from services, how can you automatically update your reporting? Well, we can do that with a feed from a CMDB into a tool set, and we can provide that report. Service level management, things like response times can feed into SLA information. Availability, service owners at the business level, integration with them, getting that information and providing the benefits back to them and the visibility of what you're producing. Planning, we can trend, we can model, we can produce a capacity plan, and at the reporting level, we want this unified portal right across those sub-process levels. This is, you know, like I said before, you've got all of your component level, you've got your response times, you've got your SLA targets, and you've got your business volumes. And we can do that correlation, those correlated reports. So this is, this is what we, Metron, based on our experience, is how a capacity, mature capacity process should look like. 